This new policy will consider art projects as part of the capital improvement program. During the budget process, 1% of money for general fund projects will be set aside for art. Mark Johnston, director of Parks and Recreation, says art is an important part of the city. Public art in a community is a part of its quality of life, uh, especially if we can uh, embrace our local artists and uh, put their pieces on public display. It shows a commitment to the arts community, and you know, there's uh, that's part of of what I do, parks and recreation, public places. Uh, it's called the wow factor, and we try and build that into any of our public places. The City Art Board will recommend art projects to the council, who will then approve the projects. Mayor Pro Tem Greg Smith says showcasing local art is a good way to help brand the city of Las Cruces. Well, Las Cruces is looking for various ways to establish its identity as a unique community and one of the easiest ways and one of the most important ways to do that is through how it shows its art, shows its appreciation for art, um, shows off the fact that we have artists here locally. Local artist Irene Oliver Lewis says that the new policy will also help to encourage people to participate in the arts. Well, art is around us all over and now in it, it, creating a 1% for art program in our city what we are doing is we're honoring the art that's created by our artists locally both a professional and emerging artists and then the other thing is you create an artful environment. The first project will be constructed at the East Mesa Public Safety Complex. Mark Johnston says these new projects will help to showcase the community. We have our, our, our downtown, really, arts culture, and we should be uh, displaying it in public spaces and, and taking our artists and, and showing them off. The City Council also approved a resolution to support the film and television industry in the community with the hopes of creating a soundstage. For KRWG, I'm Samantha Sonner.